Welcome to our next YouTube video. In this video, I will show you how to make three different types of the column. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. As our base, we are going to create our lamp stands. You can buy them anywhere like Walmart or Amazon. You can find a link for that one in our Amazon store. The first column we are going to create is going to be our traditional column, which means it's going to be a balloon tower created out of the same size clusters. We have clusters of four balloons here that are inflated to the same diameter. Now let's put our clusters on a base. When you put your balloons on the base, you want to make sure your colors are crisscrossing. And each cluster that you put on top of that, you are going to shift the colors. That will create a beautiful swirl around your balloon column. And now we're continuing adding our clusters until we make it all the way to the top. Can you guys see this world that starts developing going around the pole? Now let's attach our topper. Here we are using the jumbo balloon, that's a 24 inch one, and we will use a 260. We will tie a 260 around the neck of the balloon. Like so. And now we are going to kind of floss this 260 in between our top cluster. Like so. We will wrap around a couple of times and we'll hide our 260 inside of the balloon column. I also like to tie it at the base. Okay, so our first column is ready. Let's get to our next one. Our second column is not going to be our traditional column. We will create two bigger cloud clusters. One is going to be at the bottom and one's going to be at the top. In between, we are going to run a tussle and we will finish with a jumbo balloon to the side. Let's create one. To make my clouds, I'm going to use six balloon clusters. They made from the different size of the balloons here I have two 17 inch and four 11 inch balloons in each cluster. Now I'm going to connect them together by tying the next. So this is my cloud. Now I'm going to take this cloud and attach it to the base. Like so. The next thing I'm going to do is to attach my tassel. Now I'm going to attach my tassel. So here I'm using a shimmer tassel that you can easily get on Amazon, Walmart, or any party store. First, I'm going to measure how much I'm going to need, and I want to do the double layer around the pole. About this much, now I'm going to cut this. All right, let's peel off that adhesive strip and we will glue it to our base. All 
All right, so now you can see that this is a little too long, so I'm just going to cut the excess amount. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to add my cloud on the top. I'm going to attach my cloud using the same technique. I will just put it on top and twist two balloons around the pole. Here, you can attach your specialty balloon like a starburst or a jumbo balloon. For the jumbo balloon technique, you can also use the 260 like I did for the previous column, or you can tie necks of the jumbo balloons to the necks of the actual cloud. This type of topper makes a really cool statement. So you can add vinyl to this or write on this and it will not look like your regular straight column. The last thing I'm going to add to this column is my fillers. I made them out of the five inch balloons and just put them in the four balloon clusters. To attach it, I'm going to use loops that I have created out of the two sixes. If you don't have two sixes, no worries. You can also use the rubber bands. And just like that, our second column is ready. Our last column is going to be just a little bit more complicated. Here, we are going to use quads, but these quads are going to be in different sizes. I have a quad made out of the five inch balloons. I also have a quad that made with two 11 inch balloons and two five inch balloons. Now we are going to put it on the base, alternating sizes. Let's do this. So when you're creating your column, you want to make sure that all of your five inches are facing one way that will be the face of your column. As you can see, I started with a five inch quad, now with the mixed quad, the next one is going to be a five inch quad again. And continue until you make it all the way on top. To add the topper to this type of column, I'm also going to use two 60s. And here you have it. We have just created three different columns. It takes different amount of balloons and it takes different amount of times. But you can sell either one of them to your clients because it can fit their needs. If you're looking to learn how to do pricing for this type of columns and how to market them to your clients, make sure you sign up for our membership because this is exactly where we go over all of those things and not only columns. I will leave the link in the description for you guys and I will see you in the next video.